what's up guys welcome to episode six of the one of me podcast and as you might be able to be able to tell by the theme song that we just played um this is the pokemon episode uh i just want to throw um a shout out uh go watch that video it's pokemon battle mix it's like a remix of uh, a bunch of pokemon songs sir darky productions but yeah today's pretty much all about pokemon Yep, uh, this episode is titled The Pokemon Phenomenon, or at least that's what we're calling it right now, but as always, we're going to be talking about what we're playing and what we've been doing, kind of a thing, just catching up on life, and if you hear some thunder, <laughs> yeah, that's from my side of things, it's just rainy a little bit over here. Yeah, it might be from my we'll side of things too, honestly, it's rain- it was raining earlier, but it seems oh. to have calmed down. Yeah, well it just kicked back up again over here, uh, so what you been playing? Uh... Well, um, I've been out of, I went to spend some time with my mom over the weekend. Um, well, the weekend, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, over this past few days, not it's not the weekend, I don't know. Um, so, I haven't been playing a, a lot of stuff besides um, mobile, not mobile, oh my, I don't like mobile very much. But, uh, um, geez, what's the word I'm looking for? Handheld. My gosh, you think yeah. I'm trying to perform open <laughs> heart surgery. Um, yeah, I played a little bit of Overwatch. At the beginning, before I uh, went over to uh, visit her, uh, Bridget is still really stupid. Um, I played her for the first time, and I think I got 36 kills. I wow. I don't I don't like a character is. I just screamed this in game um, a little while ago, not a little, a few days ago. I just screamed this game is a meme. Like it, it is. This game is a meme. Yeah, it's definitely. I haven't played. I still haven't played competitive. But I have been playing uh, Pokin just super casually on my Switch. I've uh, been Still practicing some, been practicing some Pokemon uh, online card game for this upcoming regional I'm going to. Yeah, we're both going to. A, uh, we can kind of. I guess we can talk about it a little bit in the uh, the main meat of this uh, podcast. Sure, it's, yeah. Just like we said earlier, it is a Pokemon podcast. But me and Jordan, that's true. I think we've mentioned this earlier. We have a core group of fans that friends that go to these Pokemon events, play cards, and. Just have fun. Yeah, it's just an enjoyable thing. Something that I've also been enjoying is this new Dragon Ball Legends. It's a... <coughs> yeah, I haven't... I feel like I've heard of this, but I haven't played it. Yeah, it's it's this new uh, mobile game they came out Oh, with. did it come out today? It's, it did come out today. I, ca- I got a notification for, for Android. From, uh, for, from Google Play. Yeah, so if you go and download it now, you get a whole bunch of like free stuff for people right pre-registering. Now. So it's pretty awesome. It definitely feels like... It feels like a console game on your phone. What kind of game it's is pretty it? It's pretty, uh, like a swiping action game. Mm-hmm. So you use you swipe around to attack, and then you use cards to do different attacks. But th- it's not like a collectible card thing. It's just a gotcha like, game it, where is you kind of like it's like a card based combat system. Yeah, card based combat system with some swiping that I'll has gotcha it. elements. So I, I'm enjoying playing that right now. I think I'm only. Like I'll download to the it. fifth, to the fifth chapter or whatever it has. Like this, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it has two original characters that they came up with for this, like Goku. and whatnot. You, yeah, kind of like, kind of like this, right? Yep, just for this game, <laughs> Goku. That's brand that's, new you character. Know, brand new character named Goku. No, uh, this new guy, he's pretty cool. He has a tail, and then so he's uh, a Saiyan. He, yeah, he's a Saiyan. He's from a different timeline. Uh, he got thrown in there, so like you know. Xenoverse. Yeah, kind of. It's like Xenoverse for your phone. I wouldn't be surprised. In a sense, surprised. And they... I think they're, I think they're already, already talking about doing like a Dragon Ball Legends anime. Oh yeah. Right now, so they're already talking about that, and it's, I bet it, it's a pretty awesome game from what I've seen. They might, uh, they were last year they released a Dragon Ball Super TCG card game for those of you who don't know, and I've picked it up a little bit. Maybe I was and. I wouldn't be surprised if this game, you know, gets big. If they didn't release some cards from the game, or if it came with an anime, they definitely would. Cause this, yeah, it like, looks really cool. Because like, <clears throat> go ahead. The uh, characters in this game, you can like tap because they are there are they are cards. You can yeah. tap on them and stuff, and they <clears throat> show different like animations or whatever yeah. or different things. And so it would definitely be cool to see some physical cards of, yeah, with this cool. art. Yeah, that would be really there. cool. So, yeah. Um, Let's see. I uh, 
I actually recently uh, rebooted up uh, Ultra 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 Moon U Ultra Sun, not Ultra Moon. I had Moon originally, but then I picked up Ultra Sun. I don't know. I I really like um, Lunala when they first yeah. announced it, and he is cool. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the card game or if it's I don't know what it is. But I've really started liking Sogaleo a lot. He's just so Sogaleo cool. is pretty cool. Like it is cool. Like. I don't know, maybe, um, what's his name? Lunala, excuse me, couldn't remember his name. Was just like, fulfilling like this weird emo side of me or something. <laughs> that, um, but like, I don't know, or maybe it's just because Lunala's cards aren't that good and Sokolero's cards are awesome in the card game. Maybe. I don't know. So. Yeah, I started playing that of... and then I realized this is once again, I was at my mom's house over the weekend. Not the weekend, why do I keep saying the weekend? <laughs> well, because Mother's Day was... Yeah, uh, my, yeah, I guess yeah, I... I mean, I so. was over there for the weekend, but that's not when I brought this stuff. But, it's okay. Yeah, and then I realized I forgot my charger, so I started oh, playing sucks. it. Yeah, I know, and I called it Zerua, and then all of a sudden my light started blinking. I was like, oh, I got to save! And then I got out of there just in time and, and turned it off, like, right before it went dead. Because nice. I don't... Once those things go dead, it's like, I swear they take forever to recharge up to where you can play them again. Uh, Oh yeah, that's definitely true. I guess so. <laughs> when you're I'm shuffling these cards I got in the mail, I ordered some cards and they finally came in today. I keep. That's good. I don't want y'all to like be annoyed by that. I'm like shuffling them in my hand. It's okay. If they play card games, they'll understand how it is to not. <clears throat> it's hard not to shuffle cards if you have them in your hands. It just kind of happens. But uh, yeah, uh, and also since I was. Uh, all about that um, handheld games this week. I brought my Switch as well, which I also left at her house. So, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to like dog sit for her tomorrow, so I'm, I guess I can pick those up when I well, that's do nice that. Yeah, you. yeah. She's going to the beach, and I didn't really want to go because I don't like the beach. So, yeah, I was like, oh, and she was worried about the dogs. So I was like, yeah, I'll watch them, and I can go to the car shop and fool around and play some Switch and stuff. Nice. I just need to remember to bring my charger so I can actually play Pokemon. I think the most important thing you need to do is to feed the dogs. I, I guess. One of them's pregnant I, I always, or whatever. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I always forget that when I watch dogs. They're like, did you feed the dogs? I'm like, uh, yeah. Then you, you gotta just run and feed them real quick. <laughs> yep. You gotta, exactly. like, you gotta go like, uh, and while you're saying uh, run to the feed bowl and exactly. yeah, yeah, of course I fed them. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not lying or anything. Yeah. Also got a, uh, Speaking of in the mail, I got my Game Informer issue. I'm, I'm not sure when exactly it came, but it's people still subscribe to Game Informer. Dude, Game Informer is awesome. I love Game Informer. Isn't there just a digital edition? There, yeah, there is. But I mean, you have to subscribe to that too. Oh, that's true. Like, mm. I mean, they make really good articles. I actually wrote my final paper on Game Informer. Got an A. Nice. I, I mean, I really like Game Informer. I think they would make really. I think good it'd be articles. cool to do some like decorating with the. Uh, with Game Informer, yeah, you know, like, okay. cut it, cut them up and do some, like, cool decoupage with glue or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. That be, would be cool, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not that. Not a crafty person? Yes, yeah, crafty person. Yeah, I just set them out on my coffee table. <laughs> that does look cool, too. Yeah, it's like the uh, cover. It's kind of cool. The cover is uh, Days Gone. I don't know if you've heard of it. I know you're not a PlayStation okay. guy. Yeah. It's kind of like, a, yeah, it looks really good. I know some people are like... Expecting to get the crash. I think they just announced it's coming out early next year. It looks really cool. Um, looks like it's there's just something cool based. about having physical, kind of like the Last of Us, but physical books or physical know. magazines I'm that excited. are enjoyable. So, into our news, we got we got a couple interesting things to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah, we got. A, there's not a lot of news. We only have three stories we went, we found that we really wanted to talk about. But I don't know. They are stories that. Are interesting to us, and that's, I guess maybe we, we think we want to cultivate an audience that is has similar interests to us. So if we care about something, maybe you will care, care about something. I don't know. Um, if y'all want to let us know if that's correct, y'all can uh, tweet at us or at the podcast or email us or something. Yeah, yeah, all all those things will be in the description, yeah. and you can interact with us in whatever way you see fit. You know, whatever you're most comfortable with. Yeah. Or the YouTube, that we have YouTube comment sections and everything. So, yeah, just... That's uh, also I don't true. want to, like, plug really right here, but... Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that out there. But on to the news! The news! So, uh, PlayStation Vitas aren't getting any more physical games. Yeah, this is, uh... 
I mean, it's, I guess it's a long time coming. And, uh, but it's still, you know, it's kind of sad. I, yeah. I don't know. At least they'll still be getting physical games from limited run games. Really though, I don't know. Like, hey, let's I go. Think, like, I think they're still. Let's see, the article. I think they're still gonna have a couple left. This article, yeah, it's. Uh, I think they have to be released by quarter one of next year, if I'm not mistaken. It's, yeah, the article that is right. on. It's on Polygon. Um, mm-hmm. Sony is shutting down production of physical Vita games. That's the name of the article. If you want to check it out. Um, yeah, Sony has ceased production of physical Vita games, according to a report from Ko- Kotaku. Okay, so the original report is from Ko- Kotaku. Kotaku. Kotaku, excuse me. Can't speak today. And it just says, uh, developers and publishers will no longer be able to create or ship new games on the system's proprietary memory cards. Well, I uh, stand corrected. That's, well, you know, there are some, I'm sure there's some awesome yeah, people out there that are... To, yeah, go ahead, sorry, sorry. That have some really cool uh, Vita collections and whatnot. Oh, yeah, I yeah. own a Vita, and it's still just sitting there. I kind of wish I, I still had it. Poor thing. Guys, I, I, I so. want to pick up Persona again. Dude, you should, go like, ahead. bring me your Vita, I, and then I can, okay. like, buy Persona, beat it, and then... Give it back to you or something, and then you can play it okay. or something. Okay, I'll bring I'll bring the Vita for you uh, for you. Sweet. I gotta find where I put the cord. Yes, cool. but uh, yeah, I'll bring it. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, um, it says uh, the production of new physical games will cease by the close of the 2018 fiscal fiscal year, which is March of next year. So, hmm. I mean, that's sad. Okay. I love my Vita, or I traded it in. <laughs> um, but I still loved it. It was they had some incredible games on there. Persona uh, Three Golden, or, sorry, Four Golden, is one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, it it did have some cool stuff. I remember how much I enjoyed playing Gravity Rush. I mean, on yeah, it. Gravity Rush is great. So um, I mean, there was a lot of novel ideas as well. I mean, it was almost like Switch, like a Switch 1.0 or something. I don't know. Yeah, like it was, okay. I'd put. There's a lot of good technology in this thing. I played a lot of, even though they ran like garbage. I played a lot of the um, Telltale games on there. I mean, they ran at a pace, you know, comparable to only like maybe a snail. Wow, it's they're awful. Well, things that don't look like garbage is this Kingdom Hearts three premiere event that got some leaked images. Those do not look like garbage, and I'm very excited by this. Oh, yeah. So this, this, um, man, I love Kingdom Hearts. Me too. This gives me some hope, because people can talk all day, but unless I see images of something, <coughs> then I won't believe it. <coughs> and so me. it looks... It looks pretty amazing. Man, for oof, it. it really does. This is so, spoilers for people that don't want to know anything about Kingdom Hearts. Just skip ahead one or two yeah, minutes. Yeah, um, this article... What is this on again? I'm sorry. It is on Siliconaria. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Siliconaria. Yeah. Silicon, what did you uh, say? Siliconaria? Yep. S- S- Siliconaria. I, I see that now. <laughs> but uh, we'll link this in the description. But if you don't want to know any spoilers about... Uh, anything about Kingdom Hearts three? Skip ahead one or two minutes yeah. from me saying this now, so Probably that a little bit you don't. Than that. I don't know. Just, I mean, there's not going to be any heavy spoilers because there's not. It that's really true. Show anything, but if you don't want to know that's absolutely true. anything, I mean, there yeah. might be incredibly mild spoilers. Yeah. So it, the the first picture you see is Sora with the Toy Story gang, and they're looking at this mysterious female that looks like she has bunny ears, but if you look at it closer, looks like it looks like it's a, just a headband. A headband or something, exactly. So. She's got, like, blue hair. But they, I mean, yeah. I don't recall anybody from that being, you know, from, from Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy or Disney or anything, so I'm assuming it's a new character. I think it's a new character, because uh, Ventus definitely doesn't have bunny ears. So No, yeah, it, I guess it kind of does look like her, but but her, the hair is too yeah. long and too curly esque at the bottom. Um, and, but then, a pre- and the premiere, uh, the premiere embargo uh, is it lifted? When was this? Mm. Uh, what's today? Yes. Uh, no, it, it lifts tomorrow. Morning. tomorrow. Okay, so and so. they're gonna talk a little bit about it because um, they had um, some of the bigger names in the games industry had uh, sent um, reporters and stuff to look at the. Uh, what they have so far in Kingdom Hearts 3. 
so and it looks real, pretty awesome. Like it's, I don't know if it'll come out this year. God willing, it will. But yeah, I hope so. Um, at the very latest, I'm thinking next year, early next year. But like, it's real. There's no no more. Is it is this actually real memes? Like it's real. People have seen this game, and there's pictures like multiple pictures now of this game Yo, in action. You know, you see it's it being played thing. on a you see it being played on a PS4 and an Xbox One. Uh, Wreck It Ralph looks pretty good in it, wonder, and also the Toy Story world looks really cool as well. Man, I love Toy Story. Apparently, there's gonna be Toy Story Four. It's so weird that it's on Xbox, though. I mean, I understand why. I mean, yeah, they want to get everybody to play but, it, but I it, definitely will be buying a PS4 to play this. Oh, nice, nice. Um, because it's just I will feel I I just can't do it. I feel dirty if I played it on <laughs> Xbox One. But the, it's kind of weird. Are they gonna re-release do the like Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5? Remix for Xbox. I, if I'm not mistaken, I honestly don't, I don't think they I don't will. Think, I wouldn't be surprised if they did like a Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, final final remix or something. It'll be like 1.5, 2.5 plus 2.8. Well, I mean, there's just all this fan theories about Kingdom Hearts as a whole. I mean, how 13's always, you know, been around and whatnot. You know, there's 13 letters in Kingdom Hearts. If you add up oh all the games gosh. together, there's 13. Etc. And so it's just like, you know, who knows? Somebody sounds like somebody I'm sure. was 13. I yeah. Um, we probably had a, a cut right there. We we had a scare and we thought we we weren't recording, but we were we were we were all good. We're all good. Um, so back to Kingdom Hearts. Um, there. I don't know. I'm just excited that this seems like it's finally coming out. Me too. And I can't wait to see what all cosplays come out of this oh game because people do some cool cosplays with Kingdom Hearts so I'm excited for this game this gives me hope because I was definitely it was definitely dwindling I didn't I mean, think I, it was, was ever going to come out see like everyone always says that they kept announcing like re- release dates and stuff but they never really did yeah I don't know where people they got never like, said it like a year or anything Exactly. But, it's like I have post notifications turned on for Square Enix, Disney, and Kingdom Hearts three Twitters. None of them have said anything about a yeah, release date. You dirty last liars! Last year was the first time they ever did it. Exactly. Yes, but the final bit of news we have here today was there's been some rumblings, um, more than rumblings, really, about uh, Pokemon for the Switch. Man, people have been going crazy over this. So, if you haven't heard about it, I, you obviously don't, you know, don't follow you live under a rock. That closely. Unless, I mean, yeah. I don't know, unless you want to get everything through us. Yep, you know. So, uh, the latest buzz is around the two big names, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Yeah, this is on so, Eurogamer. Yep, so what, what do you think about those names? I hate them. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm excited if it was a... a a adventure style game where you're, where they're like, here, your starter's an Eevee. Yeah. Make it into whatever you want. That'd be See, awesome. See, what I'm hoping for, because I do trust the Pokemon company. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm hoping for a... It says... It, it looks like it could be set in Kanto, and if this is their big tentpole RPG Pokemon and not like a side thing, like a mystery dungeon or another fighting game or something akin to that, and it is their, like I said, JRPG... Um, it says set in Kanto. If, if 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 you could imagine if they're like we we talked about this in I think our first um, podcast. If it like started out in Kanto and then it covered several or even all the regions, I mean that yeah, would be, be pretty incredible. Awesome. Like maybe in one of them, like um, Jordan said, like you start with an Eevee and the other one you start with a Pikachu. Maybe you start in different regions or something in different in ones. Uh, this let's see. Another day, another Nintendo leak. That's what the the first words in the article. <laughs> um, a, pers- a persistent rumor to di- th- that the uh, games will be called Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Those are horrible names. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. I've heard like ru- so. there's been rumors of um, maybe Pokemon Go integration or something. Which, oh my, please no. Yeah, I hope not. That'd be real weird. Like, I mean, so. and I, like maybe it's just people. So many people play Pokemon Go, even though I think it's a bad game. That they think people will hear the name Pokemon Go and just buy it. 
Which they will. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like, it's insane how successful Pokemon Go is now that they've actually figured out how to make a I mean, correct game. it was game. successful before they figured it out. That's true, and I played it for like a day yeah, I and then for stopped. Like a week, maybe. It's, I just thought it was really bad. I just didn't like the idea of having to walk around and catch Pokemon. Yeah, I was like, that's you can't stupid. trick me. Nope. You can't trick me into working <laughs> out. I'm not doing it. But Pokemon is definitely the Star Wars of video games kind of a thing, if you look at it that way. I mean, I could, in some aspects, yes. Oh, well, you don't like Star yeah, Wars, I, I so. I do not like Star I mean, Wars. That's true. But it's just kind of insane to see how it's just how it started and then how it's just still taking the world by storm. It really is. Because Pokemon has it always done that. That's about it. Uh, you want to go ahead and step into the topic? Sure. Okay, so as we said, this topic for this episode is just Pokemon. Just Pokemon in general. And how Pokemon isn't going to go anywhere anytime soon. Yes, there's, you know, you could bring up all the things people don't like about Pokemon. But we're Ooh, not going to do Tell me who this that. is. Don't worry, I have a list. We'll take care of them okay, after the show. Put them in the put them in the show notes so everyone else will, will know about I'll it. Put too. Them in the, I, I will. <laughs> but well, Nintendo Game Freak, you know, they just do Monsters Inc. Pokemon it's, Company. It's, it? it's Nintendo Cr- Game Creatures Freak. Inc. Yep, Creatures. Um, that's that's and Pokemon Company really, which is under Game Nintendo. Freak. Yep, that's those that big. Yeah, time, it's like you know. um, people always you know, um, you know, say uh, talk about. Nintendo and Pokemon. At the end of the day, though, Game Freak like doesn't give up crap what Nintendo says. They're like, <laughs> yeah, no, we're no, we're gonna do what we want to do because we're Game Freak. Like they exactly. It's, that's like that's like Activision trying to tell Blizzard what to do, basically. <laughs> like they 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 in association with, with each other, but Blizzard's gonna do what Blizzard does. Because yeah, that's they're insane. Like, we're gonna sell you know forty million copies, just shut up and take our money, like. Just we're basically you know, and Nintendo knows that they trust Game Freak, and Game Freak trusts Nintendo. Yeah, it's insane to see how Nintendo, the Pokemon Company, and Game Freak and Creatures all Inc. work to don't forget about sorry, Creatures and, Inc. Sorry, and Creatures Inc. How they're all separate, but they all work together. But it's insane how the Pokemon Company will do stuff, and they don't have to ask Game Freak no, about it. No, because Pokemon Company owns Pokemon. Well, yeah, and so it's just. Insane, just to see how much sass Game Freak gives Nintendo, kind of a thing. Well, it's just. When was your, uh, when was your first introduction to Pokemon? Uh, definitely the, uh, let's see, the handhelds, which got me into the card game. Right. So, it was definitely Pokemon Yellow. That was my first. That was my first game. So was, I think my uh, first introduction was probably. The game, which got me into like anime, Pokemon really just spawned me into a whole bunch of different. Yeah, Pokemon things, was really. the, a lot of people's first anime, I think. Yeah, gaming anime, because at that time, you know, the whole Digimon Pokemon thing was happening. Yeah. I mean, it's still going on, but it's just. Well, I think Pokemon one's just has a, taken a significant lead up the over the other. <laughs> that is true, uh, <laughs> but it's definitely one of those things where. Pokemon is just so. Pokemon is still like it's not what it was, but what it was is something that's really never happened again. Exactly, it's insane that such a paper rock scissors. It's so simple. Battle mechanic game. But sometimes just, the most simple things are the best. That's Usually also they true. are. Usually, yes. You know, I mean, just look at Minecraft. It's yeah, how many, super how much simple. Is that sold? And, I numbers I can't even like, think of. It's, like, I think it's so many. The, the, it's so mo- the most games of any game or something. Yeah. Of any one yeah, game. I'd agree with that. Um, Probably, yeah. But <laughs> you mentioned the, uh, the the DS, not the DS, the handheld games got you into the card game. Do you remember yep. that the card game um, that was on the uh, Game Boy? Oh, yeah. I like that game so a lot. Even the, if, like, if I paid attention, they actually could have taught me how to play the game. But I was like, Nuh. yeah, and it did. It did me. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I've played the Pokemon card games since like base set, off and on. You know, I wish I still oh, had I just said, some of my cards. We just said, you know, Charizard is cooler than Victory Bell, so Charizard wins. <laughs> No, I was that kid that was like, my friends would try to do that, and I'd be like, no, this has more HP. You don't have an energy to retreat. And they'd be like, 
you're a freaking nerd. And I'm like, fine, don't play with me. Loser, you're the nerd. Whatever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so. even I didn't know how to play that game. I mean, a lot of people didn't know how to play that game. Yeah, it's it's interesting Even though everybody to was see on the playground with the with their Game Boy with color the cards. and their cars. And the Game Boys, yeah. No one knew how to play. Yeah, so... I think I was my only my only friend that knew how, like only I knew how to play kind of a thing. I tried teaching people how to play, but obviously you know they didn't take that time to learn. I mean, I, it's so. weird because I did like I said I did play that card game uh, that was on the Game Boy Color. Yeah, if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. it was on the Game Boy Color. Um, and I also played those weird shaped discs that uh, computer game, like the the pre Pokemon the online card game. I had that. I ha- I still have the Mew one. I think I it's had in the my binder. Arduino one or something. Oh yeah, so. I remember that in your binder last time you came up here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that so. was pretty cool. Except, man, um, if for anybody who remembers this, the like the game looked pretty good for probably late nineties, early two thousands. But when you first turned the game on, the girl that introduced um, everything to you was like a Something out of a nightmare. Do yeah, she was terrible. Do you remember the, how she what she looked like? I'm gonna it Google her like, now. Mike, it was like something Freddy Krueger made out of Play-Doh. Oh. Okay, we can both hear you. Wonderful. Let's get this shindig on the road. I can answer these messages later. Okay. okay. <clears throat> um, so uh, everybody, um, I think we probably had another cut. We had. Uh, our friend Jake, uh, if y'all remember him from the Bloodborne podcast, say oh, hey, yeah. Jake. Hey. Oh. But he came oh, by okay. um, to play some uh, cards with me, but we were doing the podcast, so we thought we'd invite him on again. And we had some technical difficulties um, getting these audios flutter to work, but at least it worked, unlike About last time. About working time. That's true. We're back, baby. We're all into this Pokemon phenomenon now. Jordan so. likes the Weekly Planet. If 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 anybody I, here likes comic books, <laughs> go check out the Weekly Planet podcast. What are yeah. we talking about today? The Weekly Planet podcast. Pokemon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Today. Video games or card po- game? Everything. All of it. Everything. Games, TCG, anime, oh. other Pokemon stuff that's friendly for family and children. Because <laughs> there's a lot that isn't. <clears throat> but that's um, correct. Don't look that up. Don't look up. Don't look up Gardevoir <laughs> on Google. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Poor Gardevoir. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's just, continue. Uh, we start were, off. Uh, we were talking about um, what, what we got into an, uh, an anime, Pokemon, right? It's a, yeah, we were. Jake, what, what, what got you into Pokemon? Uh, well, what got me into the card game was I grew to freaking hate Yu-Gi-Oh! And I needed to play something different. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's <laughs> and that's, y'all were I think playing Pokemon, so how I was like, yeah. I got into it. This is much more fun than Yu-Gi-Oh! What about, like, just in general, like, what's the first thing that got you into, like, Pokemon? Oh, uh, I mean, when I was a kid, watching the anime. The anime, that's what I yeah. said. Jordan said the card game was the first like thing. Like, the, the Pokemon 2000, the movie or whatever. Ooh, man, that's yeah. a good one. The movie, I like, you know, the movie with Mewtwo and then the movie with uh, Lugia. Lugia yeah. and um, yeah. the three whatever. birds, the huh. legendary birds. The what? The legendary yeah, birds. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I remember that line, the dumb line, uh, out the whole world turns to ash. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, get it? Because his name's Ash. Clever. Oh, that was, uh, that was a really intense movie. I remember thinking, like, I want to pet Entei. That guy is so cool. Was, it, Entei, was Entei in so, that movie? No, Entei wasn't in that I, movie. I don't remember. All I remember is, like, and the epic battle. Not in Pokemon 2000. No, yeah. All I remember but is the epic the battle scene between, like, Mewtwo and all those Yeah, that Pokemon was uh, or whatever. that was the first one. Yeah. Pokemon. That was so sad. Ash, we talked about each earlier, other around. Like, Ash almost dies in that movie. Yeah. He gets, and, like, like yeah, Pikachu starts he, crying. Yeah, it's, and then like, they the all saddest start crying. thing ever. <laughs> It's like, what the? I'm not ready for this. I'm nine. Or whatever. The weird, there's like a weird reference to the Minnesota Vikings. Y'all remember that? Really? What? Yeah, there's a reference to the Minnesota Vikings, like the football team, NFL. In in, In Pokemon, the first movie. There is? They say something akin to when they're, um, I think, I can't remember who it is, Team Rocket or Ash or somebody, or on the way to Mewtwo's Island, they say something about, I haven't been this cold since I was in. Or I haven't felt like a Viking since I was in Minnesota or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> that 
<laughs> it's very stupid. I've, it's been so long since I've seen it's been, it's that been movie. Since I was a kid, I don't I don't see how you remember stuff like that. Um, like, I, I, <laughs> I think I watched a video on it a few years ago or something. I don't know. And uh, they, so have y'all watched any of the new uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon? I watched anyway? a little bit of it. I kind of want to... Uh, Go back because it's on, it's on Netflix now. If I if I remember correctly, yeah, it is. To, it's not it's not bad. It's actually yeah, pretty good. Yeah, like I, they got that uh, new animation style that was kind of controversial, but I mean I, I kind of like it at the same time. I, it took me a while to get into it, but I, I'm starting to like it now that I've seen a couple of episodes. I, I don't watch the Pokemon anime. I haven't watched it since I was a kid. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's like bad or anything. I just don't watch it. I watch a lot of X and Y. Anime. I yeah, love I feel X like I watched y. more. Well, yeah, the X and Y era of Pokemon for like the card game and the video game is just really awesome. Yeah, I a love a lot of really cool Pokemon. True. We can talk yeah. about that. For, uh, what, what, what were your, what are y'all's uh, favorite, just favorite uh, video game Pokemon video games? Mm. Mine is definitely gonna have to be Black, black and, and White. Man, see, just for I don't know. Just for the I, story. I so the story itself was. It is. It's the. In my opinion, it's the best Pokemon. Yeah, story. I mean they're not normally that good. I mean they're like just nothing to write home about usually. When I was a kid, uh, I liked the Pokemon anime, but I never really played the Pokemon video games when I was a kid. Really? 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 I'm saying like I first it's, got into the Pokemon. I remember me and my brother had Pokemon Coliseum on the GameCube, That's and we loved game. that. It's really surprising. Yeah, and then I never really got into the Pokemon video games that much until um, one of my friends got Pokemon Y on Man. the oh. DS, and he convinced me to get a DS, and so, so I got Pokemon right? X. Yeah, I got Pokemon X since he had Y. And that's when I got back into the game. So is Pokemon? Is that was that? Would you say that's your favorite generation? I don't know. That, I mean, I love Gen One. Gen 1 a lot of my good. favorite, like Gengar and yeah, Gyarados, so, are two of my Gen favorite 1? Pokemon. Huh? When did you play? When did you play Gen One? You said because you said you weren't that into it. The video game back in the day, but did, did you play it when they came out? No. No, you didn't. No, I never played a Pokemon. Have video you ever game. played Gen One? I never played a Pokemon video game until like Pokemon Coliseum on the GameCube. So you've never down. played Gen One. Or no, Gen two. one of my friends oh my gosh. had like some kind of Pokemon oh. game on GameCube or something. I don't remember. I don't even remember this what the Pokemon blowing game me was. Away. I know. I don't know if I know who you are. I know. Do you do you have a 3ds still? Yeah. You know you can get the like the first gen two gens for like twenty bucks. Well, Ryan, I'm so behind on video games and anime and everything. I don't. I, there's not <laughs> enough time in the day That's to true. play all these games. That's true. I, I mean, I have all the Gen 1 Pokemon that I love, like Gengar and Gyarados and Gen all them. Guy. They're all in X and Y and <laughs> Sun and Moon. I the same Pokemon are in the games. <laughs> I, that's man, true. It's kind of like, okay. Uh, okay. I've never really played the Resident Evil games. I love Resident really, Evil, oh my god. I really, I really, really, I was looking up today which ones I should play. If the anybody wants to uh, the fourth tweet one. at me. The fourth about what one. to play, but the fourth one. The fourth one. But only the oh, fourth the second one. one. Like I kind of want to. I mean, play all of them. I've heard all of them, but six basically. And five is okay. I, I I tried six. Uh, I want to go back to it, but like, it was just weird, like online thing. I don't know if it's like online only or not, but I remember like getting invaded by some other player, kind of like Dark Souls no, or something. I've heard and like, like yeah. and thinking like I hate this. I've heard six <laughs> is bad. I've heard. I, I think. The fans tend to think that five is like the worst. I think but it's, I, I enjoyed five, but I think it's six is the worst. Five is the second worst. Four, four I'd agree with best, you on that. I mean, four, four, a lot of people say best. four is the greatest game of all time. Yeah. I really like two a lot. Yeah. I and, love it. And a lot of these are like you can get the, a lot of these on PS4 and, and uh, yeah, and like modern consoles. Oh yeah, yeah but I mean we're here to talk. I about mean Pokemon, yeah yeah right? like if you want to, if we want to talk about monsters we can talk about. Like Pogo Monsters. Pocket Monsters. <laughs> Pocket Monsters. Whoa. Oh. Pocket Monsters, man. Woo. Good one. I, so I, I don't know. What, what is your favorite uh, gen, Jordan? Oh, that's a hard question. Probably. Assuming you've played more than. Well, you, did you say Black? You said Black, didn't you? I'm sorry. That's that's my favorite Pokemon game. It's not my favorite uh. gen. My favorite gen is probably. I'd probably have to go with Gen yeah, 1. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, there's what, there's um, just too many good ones. What in there. gen were generation? What gen one? are Tyranitar and Igram from? Those are two of my other favorite Pokemon. Two? Oh gosh, a Pokemon po- Pokemon two, quiz two. on uh, gen two? Yeah, ru- so Ruby. I guess gen yeah. one and two would be no, my favorite. Ru- Ruby's not kid. Like this four, kid my just, four favorite Oh dang Pokemon it! No, it's in three. Said Ruby was gen two. Huh? 
I'm you gonna edit it out so nobody knows I said that. Kid. Uh, no, oh I didn't mean to. Yeah, Terminator is from is from Gen Two though. I think. Like, no, yeah, he's I'm, not. I'm like, I do love uh, Kyle. Well, no, I'm he's not. The, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Ty you better Google that. Terminator. Okay. Look, okay. Let's let's see who gets proven wrong. Um, well, he's six foot seven, whatever that means. That's, that's a big old dude. That's a big old dude. Let's see, Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a dual type, pseudo legendary. Okay, um. Just which gen is he from? Gen 2. Dang it! Okay, fine. Got him! That might have okay, been too loud. Fine. I apologize. It wasn't what that loud. One? I don't wanna look I don't wanna look up another Google image on, on our podcast. I guess. <laughs> um my my favorite is like I've always said my and I think I still to this day would say this, is Gen three. I've heard I haven't heard that many people I've heard a lot of people say Gen one, a lot of people say Gen two, a lot of people say black and white. There's not that many people that say Gen three though. Well, you know, I know that uh my buddy James's would be Gen three definitely because of Requaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just yeah. because of Requaza, that's the only. But man, Requaza is like in my top five favorite Pokemon though. I love Requaza. Requaza is uh, Requaza, whatever you want to call it. It's and it's awesome, got my but, Agron. But I mean, from James generation is like three. next okay. level loves loves Requaza. I don't um don't um I f- also um my favorite starter is also in Gen three, which is uh, Sceptile. I love Sceptile. Also, Feraligatr is awesome. That's also Basically, true. It's I guess I cool never actually that. thought about all this. I mean, I think my favorite starter is probably. I like Infernape Infernape's a lot. Pretty cool. He's a cool looking dude. Um, Blasto. Oh, Blasto is my cool. favorite starter. A lot of these Pokemon Followed don't really Ninja. good. A lot of these Pokemon, like a lot of these starter Pokemon, though, aren't really good. There's a lot of cool Pokemon that like are in cool game. in the video games that are terrible in the card game or anime. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, they, they, I think they're going to want to spread the love. Like, if something's great in the video game, they maybe not don't want to make it yeah. so good in the card game or something. Exactly. We could have a whole podcast just talking about the card game. I mean, man. But there's already enough podcasts out there about just Pokemon TCG yeah, I don't stuff. Know if I dip my foot into those waters. This is a video game podcast. I... Get it, get right, huh. get it right, scrub, get good. Hey, it's a game. Hello, Chief and Mountain Dew, baby. And Doritos. I, I mean, I love Doritos. Let's make a Doritos podcast. Nice. Okay. Ladies I'll and gentlemen, welcome tomorrow. to the Doritos Cast 2018. I'm, by, I'm, by, I'm oh gosh. Joined by my host. Doritos Max and Dur- Cool Ranch. Jake, your okay. Cool Ranch. What? I'm sorry, man. He's very I confused right Jake now. Has- I zoned out here, man. Yeah. He, he's I'm cool, trying to he's figure cool out like the direction we're going. Like y'all, y'all have gone from Pokemon to well, like Pokemon video game to card game to freaking Doritos. Like, man, that's uh, how it goes. Yeah, yeah. We were talking so, about fan we, theories uh, before. Um, before you yeah, came last here. episode we were talking no, about fan theories. No, that wasn't last episode. Kid. So. Oh, sorry. I'm you remember just anything. Fan man. theories. Uh, no. Let's not, let's, let's not talk about fan art, though. No, 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 no. That's, no, uh, no, 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 not at all. No. No, 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 no. 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 We don't, I don't want to go too deep into the fan theories. I just think like a lot of them are really cool. Yeah, and I'll, we'll just touch base with the Pokedex. There's just some really man, creepy Pokedex Pokedex is, I think. I, honestly, I think the one that disturbs me the most is Cat Turns. Cause it's so <laughs> unnecessary. That's, it's a cactus. That's true. And for for those of you who don't know, in one what? of the generations, it says something like, "They travel in packs." Who? Cacturn. Cacturn. You know the, the cactus Pokemon. Oh yeah, cacturn. It says something like, "They travel in packs at night and hunt." Uh, like like you'll look behind you and there'll be like a pack of them, and if you stop, they pounce. Holy crap! Like they're cactus. What are they gonna do? Yeah, it's really creepy. Uh, there's a, a, a you know a really popular one is that po- uh, humans are Pokemon, which kind of makes sense because humans are animals in this world, and if animals hmm. are Pokemon, like they're, if they're the you know the equivalent of Pokemon, then it would make sense that we are. Mm-hmm. What about what the heck? Oh, that's Brock's dad. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I do like <laughs> the uh, the Pokemon um, War theory. You know the Great Pokemon War. Mm-mm. You never heard of that? The Pokemon War? Yeah. 
Uh, you never yeah. heard of that? I mean, uh-huh. and in Jin, um, I, I mean, might have. Uh, in the new Jin, they they kind of did talk about a war, but you know how there's no dads around? Yeah. Except for Lieutenant Sir. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I've I've heard of. Yeah, they all like drafted. Yeah, like all yeah, the men are I've drafted. And uh, Lieutenant Surge talks about how uh, Raichu saved his life, or Electro Pokemon saved his life in the in the war. Mm-hmm. I, I love I love deep dives like that. Like a lot of the- if a <laughs> if if a traveler is going through a desert in the thick of a in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow in a ragtag group. The Pokemon are bidding, sorry, biding their time, waiting for the traveler to tire and become incapable of moving. Why? That's from Alpha. That's from Alpha Sapphire. Is, somebody's having a blast at Game Freak. Just, just oh make, yeah, giving kids nightmares. <laughs> He's just laughing his ass off somewhere. It lives in the desert and becomes active at night when it hunts for its prey, exhausted from the Which desert. Which apparently are people. Like it's it's like freaking uh, Driploon. Like if you, if you grab onto it, like terrifying. it'll float off with you or something like that. Like always, like, always, I was always oh, creeped yeah. out by Driploon. Like even before <laughs> I read the Pokedex entry, it's just weird. Looking. Yeah, that's it's just a creepy. It's traumatized by a really, balloon or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, although yeah, yeah. I, it it might have yes. had. Some, remember that uh, the scene in it when the balloon pops and there's blood. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That was terrifying. <laughs> That movie <laughs> destroyed. Like I, I hate clowns. Yeah, so, yeah. That movie terrified yeah, me. Too, I, I saw too, that when I, I was like now. nine or ten. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. I couldn't even take a shower for like a month. <laughs> I like wow. sat when I took a shower. I would like stand over in the corner and like just brush, just <laughs> looking at the shower drain. Because that scene God. terrified really me. Really traumatized you. And I didn't even finish the movie because it's like it's just like a it's not even a movie. It's a miniseries from the nineties. It's like six hours long, and I think right after I, I watched it, we went to like a carnival or something. So that, was that sounds fun. terrible. <laughs> uh, um, so we're looking at this. Uh, Digimon list. corrupted Pokemon. Yeah, thoughts. looking at this list online of uh, Pokemon fan theories, and Digimon are corrupted Pokemon balls. I, I'm loving. I, love I gotta, that. I gotta read about this. Some people- I love Digimon. All right. Me too. I, I loved the Digimon anime when I was a kid. I never played like the Digimon card game. Uh, okay. No one did. But did you play the? I I I played the Digimon uh, card game. Oh, Jordan! You're the one person. Of oh, course, you're I the did. only person I've ever heard <laughs> say that. Oh, Jordan! You said I know. I have a problem with I'm trying to card read that. games, as you know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But so. at least read it up. I think that Digimon are somehow interlinked by tapping into a network. Quarantine PC directly for corrupted Pokemon files. There are a lot. There are a lot okay. of glaring similarities between Pokemon and Digimon because one stole from the other. Like, <laughs> if you look at the evolutionary process yeah. of Digimon, it's initially very sporadic and uncontrolled until they develop some mastery of the process. Perhaps skilled Digimon or files that are being repaired slash reconstructed. That reminds me of the um, those that uh, in like one of the old Pokemon games. There's some kind of like. Corrupted Pokemon in there that you can catch. I forgot what it's called. Missing no. Missing no. Oh. Yeah. Missing no. Whoa. Okay. Let's not go down to the weird. But with the uh, upcoming regionals we're going to, we can kind of talk about what that entails for people that haven't gone to a Pokemon regional Uh, before. Not everything, but you know, just what it, what the basics. So. It's well, the not, last few regionals well, have, all, have all had like over a thousand players in the tournament. Yeah, Pokemon has like so, become. Yeah. It's, it's gotten really big. It's like there's like kind of been a renaissance. I think Pokemon Go had a lot to do with that. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of people that have either gotten fed up with the video game scene and decided to play the card game. I mean, a lot of people have played the just games in, too. Really, like, uh, like. That's true. I, yeah. I, I just I, I feel like it's more like it's it's more Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic players coming over is what I yeah. feel. Yeah. I mean, that's how I started so. a year ago. Yeah, it's been more than a year ago, it's, hasn't it? No, nah, I started it's, playing, it's I started two playing years Pokemon. Now. Well, not even quite a year ago. I started playing. Po- I started playing Pokemon like last October when we went to Athens. That was November. Athens. Oh you, yeah. Athens was in November. Like, I think it was in like January. No, November. N- no, it was in November. Mm, pretty sure. My my Charizard play mat says November. You gotta play I will Matt. go home and get it. We all got a Mega Charizard play Yeah, Matt. you got a play Matt too. They stole it from me. 
They beat me up and stole it. Maybe somebody yeah. did steal it. I mean, it, it would I just make a charge out. It's not like it would have cooled no, I still have it. Okay. These well, stupid yeah, Como maps haven't. that we got two of. This yeah, is the Como, dumbest fucking thing. I do Pokemon. not like Como. I hate Como. We all me hate neither. Como. That, and we got two Como maps. That they, <laughs> I won't. We got I one, want a cast we got one from Roanoke when am I getting one, one of those? Madison last year, and I'm still salty about Calm it. Calm down. Let's get back on I'm track. looking at Ryan right now. It, <laughs> he's using that as a big <laughs> mouth pad. I'm using it as a big mouth pad, too. The one that I have. Mine's rolled up and undrew well, my one pad. Of them, one of them so for those of you that have never been to a Pokemon regional, first got to, like, one, know how to play the it's card tiring, game, is. and two, know how to get to it's a really regional. Tiring. So, like, by the end it of the really day, is. you're exhausted. It actually is. Well, I get a little, I get a little salty like that uh, we have more and more players now, yet the regional cost more. And, and, like, know, more, yeah. there aren't and they don't give as much prize exactly. payout. Like, it's only, That's only, also true. Only top 32 get prize money or something. Yeah, it used to be like top 60-something. Yep. But, I mean, at the same yep. time, me and Ryan were talking about that one day, and it's like, well, since regionals have gotten so big, it probably cost more to run them now. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, the Pokemon Company, like, like, let's get this out of the way. They're making next to nothing off of these regionals. They make them what? They're making oh, next no. to nothing. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, they don't care. Okay. They're probably making, you know, just a percentage. They don't care. They're just like, if sure, that. do this. You know, we don't care. We're making millions and millions of dollars off the card game, so this throw a bone. You know, they want to be they want to be friendly. Exactly. There's... Same thing for the, v- so. the VGC, like. They have VGC tournaments at the same time, which is the video game. If anyone doesn't, for anyone who doesn't know, they have video game tournaments for uh, Pokémon and for the uh, classic RPG and uh, everything. Uh, and they're not making any money, but they're making a ton of money off the video games themselves, though. Oh yeah, that's true. Because you know, you gotta buy the new game and EV train and stuff, and you buy multiple it, games. It's so just you can like have trading yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, it's just like Call of Duty, except they've been doing it even longer. Yeah, We're and, putting and, the same and, thing yeah, every year, but adding a few different Pokemon. It's, I mean, yeah, it's much so, better it's than. It's so weird how Pokemon's been doing it for longer, but and they haven't really changed that much. But it's way better. No. Yeah, it is. That's what I was oh, trying to say. Yeah. It is better, but at the same time, that's you know, it's like we said earlier today. I am getting kind of tired of it. Like I'm not as into the video games as I was. That's why we were kind of talking about, talking earlier. We hope Pokemon Go is the core JRPG, and that it keeps the soul. You know, the battle system. I want the battle system to say pretty much exactly the same. But for it to be like a revamp, you know. Mm-hmm. From the, yeah, for the for the new one that's coming out for the Switch, we I'd love for it to be you know open world, keep the core values, but you know have something new and fresh. Yeah, so something like akin to a Breath of the Wild or something, you know, open world, big big open world. Okay, yeah, we can go to maybe multiple regions like in the second gen. Yeah, that'd be really Just cool. Open it up. So what what about Pokemon? For you personally, keeps you coming back to playing the games, playing the card games, just being a fan of Pokemon in general. Come, uh, I'd say two things. It's the the mechanics that work in both the card game and the te- and the video game, and the designs of the creatures. Okay, I'd agree. I'd agree with that. What about you, Jake? Well, I mean, for the card game, just having fun dicking around with your friends, playing stupid. Playing with freaking pieces of cardboard when you're twenty something years old. <laughs> I, you're however old. Yeah. You know, I definitely, I definitely, yeah. I definitely agree with that. Like for me, it's the sense of community because yeah. you know it's a different community than any it's other so card game or any other community. Really, a lot. It's, most I mean, definitely. it has its toxic players, just like every it, time. Yeah, oh yeah, it does. But Pokemon is much more laid back. The TCG is much more laid back. Like I never ever would have gone to a Yu-Gi-Oh regional. No. I just know I would have punched somebody and got banned from Yu-Gi-Oh regional. That's life. a good place to get banned, though. Like <laughs> if you're gonna get banned from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like you can come on, you can come on, my hero. Yeah, this this guy uh, got Exodia out turn one, and I grabbed him by the throat and threw. Him uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Threw him through the table. Yu-Gi-Oh is a much more toxic yeah, you know, game than Pokemon, for I've sure. Heard about, and I've heard similar That's things true. about Magic. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's, yeah. But oh, it, there's just something magical about Pokemon that keeps people coming back yeah. to it. And I think it's different for everybody. I think half the people, it's nostalgia, and the other half the say, people, it's mm-hmm. just 
nostalgia, the nostalgia is a very powerful thing. Yeah, and yeah. I understand that it nostalgia is. is like at its core. And like I think kind of a, a lot of people are just riding on that wave and how you don't want to grow up. Like you don't, don't want to let go like of your childhood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like but Pokemon. Like I'm yeah, looking at this Greninja card that I have love in my hand. Pokemon. Greninja wasn't a Pokemon until Pokemon X and Y. Yeah. But I don't know. There's just something so. There's Greninja so, BA, right? Yeah, Greninja, Greninja is incredible. Greninja, like Plus, my second favorite. He's in my daughter. top ten favorite Pokemon. Oh yeah, really? I say so. But he's like, okay. It's Pokemon is similar. The only thing that I can think of, it's especially you know as, as far as anime goes, there's is Dragon Ball is the only thing that I can compare to it. Something that's been around since I was a kid. With, that I still okay. You're talking about just, just in general Pokemon. Like it's been around. Since I was a kid, and for the most part, it's made it's been there whether I was there or not, and it's I've always been able to go back to it and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's, it's you know I felt yeah. the same way like whenever the um, Power Rangers movie came out last year. Like yeah, to I've been wa- extent, Power Rangers it had older me. You know I've been watching Power older. Rangers my whole my whole life. You know my whole childhood, and then. The, the movie the, came out, and I'm sure it was the same like, with a lot of people that went and saw the movie. With, oh yeah. Pretty much everyone that went and saw the movie. It's like, yeah, man, nostalgia. Yeah, like, the difference to me, at least, though, in Power Rangers, and I love Power Rangers. Uh, 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 excuse me. Power Rangers when I was a kid. but And that movie was okay, yeah, from last yeah. year. It was pretty good. For what it was, yeah. But yeah, those Pokemon movies, it. like, I've seen them in the last few years. They're still good. Yeah. The first few. I don't know about... Yeah, they... they yeah, they and, still hold up. Some of the other ones, you know, with Hoopa and Volcanion, yeah, and Volcanion is you awesome. know, some of the other. Man, they're just so good at designing Pokemon. They are, you know, and some of them, for as many bad ones they have, they definitely have There's a lot of way cool more. Ones. Like people give a so. lot of trash, you know, pun intended, to Garador. It's a literal <laughs> trash bag. Yeah. But Muck is just a big pile of poop. Like, yeah, let's, 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 just let's Muck throw is it just a flubber, like, just he's an just obese a big flubber, pile of purple poop. And people love him like yep. he's Pikachu. Like <laughs> Exactly. You know, I about lost my mind when I saw that Vanelli Vanilla Oh and, my god. Like, Vanellix is so stupid. I hate yeah. those things. I was like, it's a ice cream but cone. When it evolved, and then like, I'm, like and put vanilla against like a Snorlax. It's gonna lose every time. I mean <laughs> he's gonna eat Snorlax it. Exactly. gonna eat it, right? I feel like Oh yeah. gosh, that'd be like awesome. It's about I'd watch that. About a Pokemon I really like. Let's give him let's see. What about sh- do you like the chandelier? Are cool. It's a chandelier. You better not start talking crap about Gengar. You want to fight him? Oh. Well, Gengar is different. Yeah. I'm Gengar's not going to talk crap g- about Gengar. It'll come in my dreams he's and eat me. He's just a ghost. I don't know. He's just a ghost. <laughs> it, I, it's okay. I, I can't. Chandelier. Can. It's like it's like a haunted. Chandelier is a ghost. Chandelier is a ghost. He's a, <laughs> he's a haunted uh, chandel- ch- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> chandelier. Yeah, chandelier. No. I mean, I like ghost type. Dude, Chandler's so, so cool. He's ghost fire. That's yeah, such a cool type. Yeah, that is a, that is a cool type. That, you know, I got to give same, him some props for being decid- fire. I, I do like fire. One reason I love the Sidious. Sidious is so grass. cool, man. I love yeah. Sidious. Also, Litwick is adorable. I've got a Litwick. Yeah, it is. Litwick, Litwick, Litwick is adorable. Litwick I'm plush. looking at the plush right now. Now that now that you say it, <laughs> uh, like yeah, Litwick is, is adorable. I would not want to see that little thing. Like if you, if I saw a li- like you see a, like a candle that's just smiling at you, like I can go the other way. <laughs> I would immediately walk up to it and be like, "What do you need, master? I will serve Man, you." We saw this uh, Dutlick. <laughs> What's the name of that Pokemon? Oh my gosh, that that, that is kinda... Dut- What'd you do with it? Uh, Did you bring it back? Yeah, it's here somewhere. It's in my bag or something. Oh, it's in my. What What's you have a the, this is plushy? Kind of, not a plushie. It's a card. This is a Pokemon that I will agree oh. is kind of lazily designed. It's just a blue duck. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's just a blue duck. And, but um, and herdier and herdier is just a terrier. Yep. I mean, that's yeah, that's all it is. Toros, Toros it's just is a bull with two tails. Oh man, big whoop! <laughs> it's got two tails. You know, yeah, he, 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 that's true. You don't want to. I mean. You don't want to make him mad because he'll use Mad Bull. Mad Bull. GX. Mad Bull. <laughs> oh, but gosh. we found we, <laughs> we got we found all the cards. Of Dutlet, Dut, I don't know his name. I think it's something like that. Something uh, like but Dutlet he just he, he's looking down into the pond, and it just looks like he murdered somebody. It, it, it like oh, it looks okay. like uh, someone <laughs> like looking up at this ducklet through, sitting on the surface which, of the water, uh, and like which I don't know, but he's like sitting on the surface of the water, and it's like he's just watching someone drown. Yeah, like, and there's just nothing. He doesn't care. Yeah. He has nothing. 
Like you can sense that he's glad that it's happening, but he doesn't really care. It's just, yeah, I'm, I don't know what set it from. I wish we had the card, but it's like, fairly new. I don't know. Just oh, look up a I picture see it. of this it's, stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's from uh, Breakpoint. Yes. Oh god, it's it's definitely so definitely creepy. It's like looking like he like he's. It looks like. If anybody's ever watched one of those like top ten like anime <laughs> sadistic deaths or something, where it'll have like it'll have like a it'll there have, like, it a is duck from, no the one from Plasma Blast. Oh, the one from yes, Plasma the one Blast. From Plasma Blast. It'll like you know one of these. Just look at it. It's got those dead eyes, man. <laughs> like it's just like looking down through the surface of the water, like looking at somebody drowning. Like yeah, it's kind of like if anyone has seen um uh, the original Halloween. Yeah. When Freddy uh, stabs that guy and like hangs him on the wall. Did you just say Freddy? I just said Freddy. Oh my gosh! I, I think I. I you know I love horror movies. Oh my gosh! I'm so, so I'm about. Wow. I'm, I'm gonna give you crap. Can we? Wait? I'm gonna start giving you crap. I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of horror movies. <laughs> They're scary. Okay. I don't like to be scared. I got scared for a month by a bad it movie. <laughs> so, I, I love horror it's movies. Okay. I mean, I, but uh, I almost said it this time. But when Michael Myers stabs the guy and kind of just looks at him, the, the dead trying, to, eye, yeah. trying to figure out what's happening, yeah. like doesn't even. That's, yeah, that's kind of like what the duck. Looks. That's what the artwork on the ducklet looks like. You're right. <laughs> exactly right. Oh, this is so <laughs> creepy. So any any oh. listeners, if you want to know what we're talking about, look up um, Pokemon TCG Ducklet Plasma Blast. It's 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 um, incredibly creepy. It is. It's, it's odd. It is really it's creepy. Got the cold the cold stare. <laughs> so uh, I don't know where I was going to go with this I guess it was just yes I I don't know I, think I guess I'm just dumbfounded that Pokemon just it's, has it's been around it's Pokemon um, is one of like I'm just dumbfounded that it's still here it it's really so simple like, you know, but it's so um, awesome how many times I'm sure a lot of people have um have had this question, um, like by their grandmother or their mom or something. Like, Is that Pokemon still around? Yeah, mom, yeah, it's around. I mean, it makes billions of dollars a year. <laughs> They're not gonna be like, nah. If if it made a hundred thousand dollars a year, they'd still be like, pump it out. No, it makes like exactly. billions of dollars a year. Like I don't. I mean, if you think about why it's awesome, you get to capture anything from rats that shoot. Electricity to prehistoric sea creatures, to big or you know, just bird that, to like God, like that, you can exactly. that are like yeah, God, like Arceus and Mew, like the yeah. creators of the universe, or the to, devil, the devil, yeah, it's, Giratina, yeah, yeah the fucking it's devil. insane. Let's see, you know, Pokemon Red, and, Pokemon Red and Blue alone so six over sixty one million copies. Pokemon oh, yeah. Red and Blue yeah. are ranked. It looks like ranked number nine on the highest selling video games of all time now that that, no, that is according to wikipedia yes i don't no it's so. not, i'm sorry I, I combined the two i was gonna see try to see what the lifetime sells of pokemon as like franchise or hold on i i tried looking that up earlier and i don't i couldn't yeah, find it's, it it's got to be you 300 million 300 this wow. is the last year game game of sutra pokemon the game series surpasses okay. 300 million in 1996 that's quite a. That's pretty impressive. Mm. Yeah, so it broke the uh, news to Pimitsu. I mean, everyone knows what a Pokemon is. Yeah, you know? like like you everyone. got that yeah. Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, does that pe- Pikachu talk about? No, screw Pikachu. It's a piece of crap. It's- Raichu's better than Pikachu. I said it. Pichu is better than both of them. Mm, he's better than Pikachu, but it's he's not so, better than Raichu. It's much cuter. Good Earth will eat your Pichu. Dang. Man, I want no, to hear it. No, Good Earth will eat your Pichu. No, that Pichu will eat your Pichu. No, Gyarados is a fine. Can you just see, like, in some kind of, like, some kind of Rick and Morty style, like, Gyarados eating a Pikachu, and the Pikachu, like, like using a, a Thundershot. Pikachu, you just, use Thundershot! It just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> it just <laughs> explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy... <laughs> That needs to be. Oh man! Oh, I wonder what Gyarados tastes like. I can't I, imagine. I eat Gyarados. That's something that that that's one thing that I know a lot of people have thought about with Pokemon Universe. Like, what do they eat? They eat Pokemon. Like they they, they the meat is coming. Like you butcher your Tauros. 
And there's a uh, come on, man. I don't want poffins. Oh, oh. I need Tauros what's meat or something, man. I need nourishment. Your, what's that pig Pokemon that's um, oh, uh, the there's psychic a, there's type? A, oh, um, Grun pig. Well, yeah, that and, and any pig type Pokemon. <laughs> it, it, that's your life. They gotta have bacon. From, oh man. yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but, I need Tauros meat or something, man. man. <laughs> I love those videos. The buffalo, so man. I know. I know. James will be eating those. The buffalo. If we, if we was in the Pokemon, oh, uh, our friend James is a Native American man. But I <laughs> want to know he'd be in the Buffalo. Holy, look at this. Ash finds a pincer. Oh, dude, don't watch that video. Don't do oh it. Gosh, it looks getting... pretty gruesome. No. Don't watch it. You I won't like it. It, it right. looks like I would like it. Oh, yeah. You would like it, but it'll taint yeah, Ryan. Uh, the, the, this is, these videos by Ego Raptor, that's huh. incredible. Like, uh,. This this video right here oh, by Ego Raptor, it's the one. We'll link them in the yeah, uh, sure. description. Yeah, I just everything. I just love Pokemon, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'll ever stop playing on some level. Yeah. Like Pokemon was the first thing that really like, kind of like brought everyone together like that. Oh my God! Speaking of which, Jane, Jane what, just sent a picture to our group text that he has. He had gotten a playset of Pokemon Professor uh, promo Professor Sycamore cards. Oh, of course great, he did because. Like, well, I guess wow. that no one cares. He had to get rid of his full lights, I guess. Looks so the, the next best thing to his full light. Pretty bad. There we go. <laughs> we had to. We had to like make make sure he feels pretty bad about himself. No. Cause it's, I know. I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna punch him right in the throat when I see him. <laughs> so, what, uh, listeners, you hold me to this. You ask me if I punch him in the throat next time I see him. Because I will. <laughs> I, talking, yeah, talking to me or Jake? Jake. I don't know Jake. what I'm doing. Okay. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think I'm doing this thing called a podcast, think, Ryan. Uh, so, have, have you? I bought every Pokemon game. Did you? Have y'all? Um, Jake obviously hasn't. What? Uh, yes, I bought all of them except for Black and really? White. Too. Every Pokemon I haven't bought video those. game, like m- main, well, not main, every one, but you you bought every yeah, Pokemon I mean, video bought, game since Red and Blue. Yeah, awesome. I've yeah. owned, owned Yellow, Red, Blue, Silver, Crystal, uh, Leaf Green, Emerald, Sapphire. Uh, Pearl, I think, because I was like, uh, I gotta, I'm not gonna get diamond because diamond's a, a, a woman's best friend, and I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, pla- okay, platinum. Sure. Is platinum um, the one with Guatina on the cover? Yeah, it um, is. Guatina. Yeah. Like X, uh, Ultra Ultra Sun, Moon, and then um, the, I'm missing a couple, but yeah, I've owned all the main main series. Let's see. I, I got yellow. And then I got red, and then I got crystal, gold, and yeah, crystal, um, and so with Dagon. silver. Oh man, I, and the yeah, remix. I played. I got all those because I just had to have them. Uh, and then I got ruby, emerald. Uh, before that, I got red. I got uh, fire red, and then I got diamond. I didn't get yeah diamond, and then I stopped. I played diamond for like ever, and then I got. Uh, X, and then after I beat X, I went back and got black. Okay, I need, I need, play, I need to do play that. that one. Pokemon like it like Jake. And then obviously I got Pokemon yeah. Sun, but I've only played like I an hour Moon, of it, and, and then I, I was just I, like, I Ultra Sun. I guess I'm just done with that version of Pokemon. I just want something more than just get this team, beat the Elite Four, yeah. capture this Pokemon. Because I don't play competitively. I'm scared. So I'm just like, what's the point scene. of me playing this game? Yeah. I don't I've, thought, I've thought it's about trying scary. to play the game competitively, and then I was like, there's way too much work with. Like, it's not just get a Pokemon, teach yeah. it a good moveset. It's like, you gotta know, like, the freaking oh, yeah. nature. It's like, Pokemon, get, crap, it's like, get a Pokemon, get it to level 100, trade it. Yeah. Okay. Do it again. Yeah. Now breed it. Now and like certain yep. Pokemon, if you want to teach them certain moves, you have to breed them. Like, like I love Crobat, right? Well, um, this kid's got like almost every like possible build of Crobat. I, I have like every possible build of Gengar. 
Not Gengar. 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 I have like five different Gengars in Pokemon X. I'm not kidding. But, um, but oh, wow. yeah, um, Smogon, like Crobat. Smogon.com, shout out. Uh, oh, yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, a really good move for Crobat is um, Brave Bird. But if you want to teach it Brave Bird, you have to breed it with a Braviary. And, yeah, Hatch. hatch oh, one. it's really weird. And, like, the, the, like and that's one of the things. Stuff. See, I have Pokemon Moon. Yeah. Braviary is not in Pokemon Moon. I got instead, Ultra Shine. I know, instead, you get that, um, the Buzzard, whatever it's called. Instead buzzard, of Braviary. Buzzard, yeah, buzzard yeah the stupid. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but, Buzzard um, face. Yeah. So, I'm not able to, I haven't found anyone to trade a Braviary for, you know. But I don't care enough anymore. I'm like, screw it. I, I haven't played Pokemon video games in a long time. But they I mean, I've been playing Pokin, but that's pretty I much it. You know, I just push I've buttons been playing and win sometimes. Man, and Bloodborne. to me, that's more fun than a Pokemon video game. We'll, we'll talk about that later on, on, on another <laughs> podcast. But like this, we talk about Pokemon, like what the game did, you know, for just a second. Um, first of all, it was a lot of people, and I didn't realize this when I first played this. I think it was a lot of people's like first RPG, you know. Oh yeah, most people, definitely. A lot of people like yeah. Jordan didn't even realize it's an RPG. Yeah, I, yeah, it is an RPG. Like, You're right? No, I mean it just it it's so it simple yet RPG. so in depth that it just it clicks. It just got people into loving RPGs. They didn't even and know. They it. didn't know it. I mean, which how is many amazing. RPGs do you know that have over like 800 playable characters? Exactly. You know, each you can have their and own design and move set. And that, I mean, think about just the. Think about the no original how games. Dumb some of those like, are. yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. But think about how profoundly amazing it is as an RPG in the time that oh, it came. Oh yeah, out. over over 151 playable different characters with that you could nickname, you could name that you could, and teach any combination of moves to, kind of a thing, and some you had it didn't just make you catch. You know, you can catch just these Pokemon. No, you have to catch, you know, this Pokemon to learn Flash or this Pokemon to learn Cut. You know, you you had to have these certain Pokemon to interact the with environment. the game and to progress through the game. You know, and and you could fight them and with, it was with just, your friends and trade them. Exactly. And it's that a was a genius really cool. idea. And that's, I mean, you know, it was inspired yes, by them, the creators, like, you know, when they were kids, like, uh, collecting, like, bugs and stuff when they were, like, in the, in the forest of Japan. Yeah. I guess. So it really goes it's really cool, to a and I honestly, like thing that I don't think a lot of people just, maybe just don't want to leave. So is that why a lot of so I know. why all the Pokemon games start off with some kind of forest collecting like stupid low level bug types that no one likes? Probably, <laughs> probably so. Probably, <laughs> like the you only know. cool bug and type. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. I don't care what y'all think. Y'all fight me. The only cool bug type is Scizor. That's like the only cool bug type. What about Scyther? What about Whatever. Scyther? I guess. What about Beedrill? What? No, you have to. You have. Yeah, Beedrill's cool. Yeah. What about Butterfree? I think what? we broke Jake. Butterfree? Butterfree? Boy. It's a butterfly. It's not a bug. I don't think Jordan knows what a bug is. I guess. <laughs> what about. The only cool bug has... type is Scizor. I said it. Fight me on it. I guess. I guess Scyther, too. Scyther. <laughs> Scyther, Scyther. Glissopod's yeah, all right. Glissopod's pretty cool. He's from an, the newest generation. Glissopod's annoying the crap. Glissopod is terrifying. Yeah, he's a giant. Bro, I mean, he's terrifying. Oh, he really like is terrifying. a giant roly poly or something. <laughs> 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 he's annoying the crap I'll, to fight yeah. in a video game because he keeps going back into the Pokeball. He'll hit you and he'll run back into his Pokeball and you can't knock it out. It's annoying the crap. You gotta one shot him. Yeah, I know. Yep, just. But I, I mean, I say that, and then my Crobat has a move called U-Turn, or it does the same thing. It, it hits and goes back into Pokeball, so, I mean, <laughs> I guess. That hypocritical viewpoint, you can only find it here. Yep. I really wish Pokemon could get back to just trading. Yeah, yeah. You know, it all... It, well, how I look at it from the standpoint of a lot of people, you know, for instance, it's not with trading and with trading cards they're like you know you always try to get value and i wish it would just go back to obviously we set the value oh, yeah. back, in, like, to do with back in the day whenever we played Yu Gi Oh, you know back before everyone had a smartphone and tcg player like exactly. you had to get a freaking magazine every month that told you what cards were going to be worth you know 
Like, you know, exactly. It, it, you know, it was I wish. like, oh, you need a, a blue eyes, I need a red eyes or whatever the crap plan. You, you know, oh, let's trade them, you know. But now it's, exactly, now it's you everyone know, looks at the value on their phone. and. Well, that's kind of cool. That's honestly kind of cool, though, because people have been able to make a living doing that now. That and, that's and also... That's your friend that makes a living off of that. Yeah, and also... Um, you know, some like kid don't know any better. And yeah, you could. They'll they'll that's trade also like true. a really good card for a piece of crap. And and you have so experience you in don't this really Jake. have that happening as much anymore, I guess. No, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. All these kids. True. The smartphones. So I appreciate mm-hmm. that, but I definitely wish. I just wish people would not take it I, yeah. so seriously. Sometimes, like, no, I'm not going to trade you this full art for you know this card or whatever or this you know or what? that. You know, it's I'm not going to do that. At the end of the day, it's all cardboard. And hey, at the man, end of the day, paper. it's all like digital. at the end of the day, that's it's true. no better oh, than what whoa, the white true. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I don't know, man. So. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know, man. This is this is a shiny piece of like, cardboard. I, m- like like money's paper too. I'm not giving away money. Uh, okay. I'm not trading you, a ten dollar. That's really true. You got a really good point. <laughs> that's a, that's a really good point. Hey, man, okay, let me never you. mind. This, this brand new crisp one dollar bill. Let me get that ten dollar bill. What trade? <laughs> That's how okay. it works, man. I mean, but, barter, baby. That's like, one dollar bill has a number okay. one on it. It's number you want to be number one. Never I'm mind. My point pen. is is a hundred percent invalid. Then I I didn't even I mean, think you about have it a like point. that. So quit hand shuffling your card that you got off a piece of player over here, Ryan. Yes. Why don't we, you're bothering mm. the crap out of me. Did so. you buy from pro play games? We <laughs> we had everything. Well, where I we buy our cards from? Ryan? I, I got it. After it's all okay. the crap you talked about pro play games, you bought some of your Pokemon cards from pro play games? You, you bought three of us play have games been screwed again. over by pro play game players it's at Pokemon Regionals, and now you're going to buy cards from them? Let's not talk too much about a, a t- this, because I don't want to hear about it. I'll call out pro play games right oh. here, right now. Three of us got... Oh, we have no, no beef with them, oh, personally. Actually, I don't know why Jordan... I personally we don't. Over by, I just don't want to talk about it because we don't. I don't want to talk about it all day. Pro okay. play game, Pokemon. Okay, we can talk about it later. We got some beef with you. That's right. I'll, I'll just oh. say it. I don't mind. Yeah. Well, if Jake said it, we're definitely we'll go to war. Sure. Thank you. So, how long do you think you think Pokemon is just gonna go on forever? Yeah, probably will. I think it will. Honestly, it's all things will end eventually. Except. It, <laughs> <laughs> That's so morbid. Except Sword Art Online. You're going to make it more morbid except Sword Art Online. Oh my god. Ugh. I hate Sword Art Online so much. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's keep on track. Keep on track. I... Pokemon, baby. <laughs> Why? I'm so excited I'm... for Pokemon Switch, man. You, you know what? Me one too. Of, one of the things oh, I hate gosh. most about Pokemon is. And that's not what I thought he was going to say, but keep talking, Jake. Why the Jake. crap is a lowland executor a dragon type? Because he wants to be. Cause it's like, it bothers the crap out of me. It's something to do with dragon fruit, I think. That's, that's freaking yeah, dumb. I, you're dumb. I am. They, I'm sure they spent a lot of time figuring out how to make you know that what, 90, Pokemon 90, a dragon 90, type. Okay? 90, 90% of Pokemon makes a lot of sense. Every once in a while, you're going to yep, have a big dumb that tree. other 10%. <laughs> Or yep. a big dumb pile of garbage. I mean, it, it, or a it, it big make... dumb ice cream cone. Or a big dumb pile of poop from Gen One. Yep. Grandma. Yep. Or a small pile of poop that confuses itself and doesn't know what it really is. I didn't. I'm talking about oh, Ditto. Ditto is. Ditto looks like some D- bit out gun. Ditto's a sex slave. Ditto's a whore. Yeah, Ditto, <laughs> yeah. Ditto, the yeah, only thing I just Ditto find it weird that Ditto is Pokemon is to leave it at the Pokemon Center as your, the center, the, as the your bottom, as your bottom bit. And <laughs> then oh my gosh, done. we're trying oh to gosh. wrap this up. Jake's, every time we have Jake on, he's he's really good with the language, and then he really is like. I thought you said we had to keep it PG thirteen. Yeah. That's PG thirteen. That is PG thirteen. That's PG thirteen. But maybe I don't okay. know. I don't know. I don't know if bottom bitch is something. Uh, <laughs> they say it on South Park. I'm bottom, so South Park is in nowhere PG thirteen. <laughs> I think you need to. Okay, okay. How about this? If they would say it on The Simpsons, you can say it. They don't say bitch. 
They say it on Family Guy. You don't say bottom, bitch. <laughs> they say bottom. <laughs> they say on Family Guy. Well, speaking of being that, <laughs> Skitty and Whale Lord are in the same egg group, so I'll just let y'all think about that. The, the Skitty cat. and Whale Lord, so a little cat and a big whale. Skitty just, just man, uh, Skitty's taking advantage well, of him. Well, they're both mammals, I guess. Skitty's <laughs> taking advantage of him. Oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so, as as we wrap this up, we definitely got some cool stuff to plug in the, uh, in the outro. Up, Skitty and Whale Lord. Don't think about that. You got to okay. talk about your video project okay, yeah, you did. Sure. Um, I have a friend um, who is a semi-professional uh, gamer, and he let me do like it's not very long. Uh, it's the first thing like this I've ever done. It's like a little interview um, that I did, and I thought I'd just throw it up on our YouTube channel if anybody wants to check it out. I actually ended up really enjoying making it, and um, yeah, uh, come in some slack because like I said, it is my first. Um, Attempt, but it's a cool little video videography, whammo yeah, jamma, and later. also hmm? I'll show it to you later. And you also, uh, oh, did you? for those yeah. of you that plug it, baby, say it's good. And yeah. I'll, it's good. He, he says it's good. Boom. And for those of you that don't know, Ryan is a up and coming journalist, and he writes hey, a lot of uh, awesome articles There's on the uh, video game. Yeah, he writes a lot of video game articles on Amino. So if you want to check out his yeah, Celeste article, article. On, Amino? kind of review, yeah. I think I watched the yeah. hentai called Amino, Amino, Jake. Oh my god! No, Jake, not no, Jake, not that. <laughs> what's happening? We're I'm trying to close this about, show out. Is what's I wrote happening? A kind of review esque article on the game Celeste on what's called Amino app. It's like a community app, and one of the communities is video games. If you want to download the app, it's free. Correct. And you can like look at it. cool like fan art and cosplay. Don't say uh, some cool Jake. Pokemon Don't fan art away. No. <laughs> What's that? We'll uh, we'll link What's it in the mean? description for the all that want, for all that want to see it. Also, uh, we got some awesome news earlier this week. We're now yeah. on Google Play, so you can check that out on the show notes You're on as what? well. Google and Play. on our Twitter, we're on Google oh, Play cool. now, baby. Cool. Yeah, so you can subscribe to us I'm on scared. there. Okay, All the say. episodes are just <laughs> uploaded there. His mouth. So he's gone from like just a hard left turn, talk talking about Pokemon yep. to bottom bitches and hentai. <laughs> You're the one that told me not to well, say you it. Know, you need to say it. You open the door. You guys can let us know if you want. <laughs> I'm kicking it down, baby. <laughs> well. For those that want Jake on the podcast is, more, you can interact with us. This is fun. I want to be on the podcast more. This is, this is a lot of fun. Well, if y'all think I you can like, handle Jake like being on the podcast like more, you can... I, it went downhill. Like, I, th- I forgot well, everything you know, I was going to talk about, and he started talking about like sexual <laughs> positions. <laughs> I need a drink of water. For all of you that want to follow us... On uh, social media, you can follow the podcast at One Up Me Podcast on Twitter and use the hashtag One Up Me Podcast to interact also, with us. You can find me. Oh, uh, yeah. You can also ahead. email us at One Up Me Podcast Gaming. That- <laughs> nope. It's just One Up Me Podcast oh at oh gmail.com. One, one Up Me Podcast at gmail.com. So you can check us out there. Jake still doesn't have any social media that he gives out I to people. I mean, I, mean so like, I have a Twitter and a Facebook, but like, I never, I never. If you want to see them. horrifying images, like uh, hey, I don't post, I don't post that kind of images on my Twitter account. All right? That's that's that's, that's what Tumblr is for. Oh, that's what. That's, what <laughs> <laughs> that's we do. For the record, no, we do not we have never, a Tumblr. We we'll never have but, a Tumblr. That's no, uh, correct. We will never have a Tumblr. But you can follow the podcast at those. Uh, Places mentioned, you can find me at a Swaylock that on is. Twitter. You can interact with me there mm-hmm. anytime. Oh, you can follow me at Juggernaut. You're using no. Your Twitter handle's You're at right. Ryan Divisions. I think my name. I think my Twitter name is Juggernaut. This kid. No, it's. I think it's Ryan. Well, but you can follow me okay. at Ryan Divisions. My Correct. amino profile is Juggernaut. That's also true. All this information will be in the show notes. It'll probably be the most jam-packed, lengthy show notes ever. But, you know, we try to give you guys what uh, what you want. And thank you to all of our listeners. We're going to do a little shout-out right here. I hope I'm reading this correctly, but according to the statistics, we have a lot of wonderful listeners from Canada. 
or or China, whatever uh, C N stands I for in the so. color red. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's Canada. So thank you for listening this. and downloading and telling all your friends about us and whatnot. And we will see you next Monday. And as always, I don't know what's happening. Game on. It's play on. <laughs>